funeral, was it? Anyone close? My father's. Matthew is returning to his hometown that he left kind of 18 years previously. He was raised in the Barren Brethren Christian community. The Brethren, they are absolutely devoted to their religion. So they don't have phones, laptops, computers. They live a very humble, rural life. They pray together and they help the poor. Anybody who can't share their beliefs is damned. Matthew's gay, that means that he's damned twice over. You know the worldly aren't supposed to mourn with us. I think he would have wanted me here. I don't think we could have dreamt of having somebody who was as appropriate as Ben is. Good looking, intelligent, charming from Devon, and he's nailing it. Oh, hello, here you are. Ben is absolutely lovely. We just get on like a house on fire, really. It's just great. We're just having a lovely, lovely time. D.S. Rafferty. I'm playing a guy called Christopher Reasley. There's a sort of charitable art place that my character runs. And of course, at some point, I come into the frame. The world is a dangerous place. Honey! The story set in North Devon. It's where I grew up. Devon Coastline, really dramatic. And I think Lee Haven Jones, our brilliant director, is really going to tap into that. I think it's going to look very brooding, atmospheric. And a mix of good weather and bad weather. Yesterday we were at Headland for this uh, baptism scene. We have like massive waves crashing against the seawall and ripping through the scene. I've got a wetsuit on underneath all of this, and I'm just about to go into that. We had all of the seasons in one day, which is classic of our country. Ah, lovely, very nice. Let's go again, please, once again. We've got an amazing ensemble. Julia Stevenson, Anise Dobson, the wonderful Martin Shaw, Pearl Mackey. I mean, it's peppered with brilliance. I'm in it. It's a gift of a part and a gift of a show to be part of. It deals with a lot of very contemporary issues, everything from religion to sexuality to um, murder. <laughs> If you like a detective drama and a whodunit, it's definitely got that completely central to it. The characters and the relationships between them are never cliched, always complex. You get inside the heads of all of them. All the characters are going through some really interesting predicaments and journeys, and then also a really quite shocking case at the centre of it that Matthew Venn is trying to crack. I think it'll be quite an emotional roller coaster. It was very compelling to read, and it's been very good to film. You chose your own path, Matthew. Now it's led you back to us.